Welcome to Uniquely Loved, a celebration of authenticity and divine inspiration. Hello, my loves. I love it when the uh, podcast actually coincides with some of the cool different events going on. For today, we have the full moon, and I am recording this today so we can capitalize on all that wonderful energy. And I don't know about you, but this full moon has been having me feel really, really, really feisty. Uh, a whole lot of, uh-uh, I'm not taking this. Mm -mm. <laughs> I am going to establish my boundaries, maintain those I already have set up, maintain the ones that I am now setting up, and no one's going to F with me <laughs> regarding them because these are my boundaries, I know my worth, and I'm going for everything that I am capable of. And this full moon is in Leo. So this explains a lot of the different energies coming up for so many people. Um, a lot of us have been feeling very, uh, it's been turbulent. It's been like, what the heck is going on? More, more, more things are being noticed uh, by myself and a lot of people I'm interacting with. And it's just, we have to decide. We have to decide what we're going to allow affect us. So we have to choose, is this in our control or is this something that's out of my control that I'm getting distracted by or that I'm letting get to me? Now, there's a lot of things that suck big time and there are things that are out, out of our control that can directly influence us, impact us in so many different ways um, negatively and positively. And change can be scary no matter what it is. So I am going to channel the energies of the full moon and unconditional love and honestly, absolutely anything else that you need in your highest good so you can find your peace, your balance, um, I do channel universal energies with your highest good in mind. If you are open and receptive, please state yes. Um, if you're not, don't worry about it. You can just listen and go along because there is a story here. <laughs> but just know that I am channeling energies to help you release. The full moon is a wonderful energy for helping us cleanse, release our burdens, release the things that get to us that shouldn't uh, release our stressors, our, our worries, our everything, really. You know, if, if there's a blockage or a resistance within us, it is gently cleansing. And I am now channeling the energies to help you release your worries. Let them go. You can choose to not let some things bother you. They might still nag at you, but that's when you tell that voice, uh-uh, no. That's when you tell your inner guidance system that is nitpicking, uh-uh, shush. We're not going there anymore. I am not that person anymore. I am not going to react in old ways because they no longer serve my good. They no longer serve my goals. They are not who I am anymore. In fact, they probably never were who you are. It's just crap that we picked up along the way. Old programming, old code that just needs to go bye-bye. So we are gently washing all of that away. Take a big deep breath with me. All right. So they gave me the visuals last night, they being my guides, of walking through and being on this cliff. And as I'm speaking, I'm going to be sending the energies of this activation to you uh, if you accept it, but you don't have to. You can if you want, and you don't have to visualize. That's the cool thing about energy. Uh, a visualization is a tool that helps us connect in a different way to our soul, to our subconscious, to our own power. But you don't have to be able to visualize to tap in. You can use your thoughts, you can use your focus, you can use your will, because all of that is your power. But 
I was meditating and I was on this cliff. I could get a visual of just standing on some rocks and I could see it looked like an oil painting of so many different colors, like kind of like what you see when you're looking out in space with the nebula and everything, but it was extremely chaotic. It looked like somebody took um, different bright colors and just kind of threw them on the canvas in random directions. Uh, <laughs> it was just extremely chaotic and I could feel like wind whipping around me like I was caught in a hurricane. Um, and as wind would blow by me, I would see more color present on the canvas or the sky in front of me. And it was really interesting and really, really, really pretty because I could see in color. Yay. <laughs> that is still something I'm tapping into. <laughs> so I get really excited uh, when it happens. Um, and it used to be I would get so excited I would lose all the visuals. And sometimes that still happens. And that's okay. It's normal. <laughs> but I had the sense of instead of ocean before me, it was a whole bunch of fluffy clouds. And it looked like cotton candy because some were pink, some were green, some were turquoise, uh, some were blue. And I just stepped off the cliff and onto a cloud. And somehow I just like, okay, I'm going to take this leap of faith and the cloud's going to get me because I want it to. So it catches me and it did a little dip and then floats back up gently, but it was like, wee. <laughs> and we started floating along and the, the cloud just kind of had me moving in a generally st straight pattern. And I got the, the visual of all these this cacophony of colors kind of partying and there being just this pale blue light in front of me. And it was shaped like a full moon. And there was, it, it was like the clouds were doing little stepping stones up to the full moon itself. And I was like, okay, cool. And the cloud bumped into like the landing where the full moon was and I stepped into it. And here is where I am sending the energies of the full moon to activate all of your manifestations, all of your hopes and dreams, your goals, all your, oh, wouldn't it be nice if this mir miracle happened? Oh, wouldn't it be nice if this awesome thing happened? We're going to activate all of those. So I would like you to just call to mind all of your hopes and dreams, everything that you want to happen from now, way, way, way in the future, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. You know, the, imagine you've completed everything that you want, everything that you hope to achieve, and you're there. You're looking back on this entire wild journey is like, yes. I'm getting really emotional right now because our guides want us to focus on those feels. The I did it. We did it. We made it. We did this awesome thing. We did that awesome thing. You know what? I made it through that and I thrived. So I want you to feel like the phoenix soaring after it's already risen from the ashes. And I am sending the energies now to help you feel like you are soaring. You are completely free. You are light as a feather and you are flying beyond the stars. You deserve all of this. You do. So I want you to just take a moment and say, I claim all this. I deserve it. I am worthy. I claim all my blessings. Add in any affirmations, any affirming statements that you would like. And I am sending energies to help activate each and every one within you now. And it doesn't matter when you listen to this, the energies flow through the re recording, through the video, through the audio wonderfully. That is the gorgeous thing about energy. All right. 
take a breath and just say, so be it, it is done. I am feeling such a lightness right now. And it is really, really, uh, it's peaceful and exhilarating, which is a really strange combination. <laughs> it's kind of like when you're at, you're, you're on a roller coaster and you're at the, the top where, you know, you're doing the loop-de-loop and you're kind of suspended upside down and just like, yay. And then, you know, and then gravity kind of catches back up and you're, you're flowing again. So it's just like that. Yay feeling <laughs> that that I'm feeling right now and it's really cool I love roller coasters though so that's kind of one of my constant visuals for my journey <laughs> okay excellent I am going to send in grounding energies to help anchor this in completely and ground it into our physical reality and that way you see tangible physical results. Now I want you to go forth and get creative. Get assertive. Like when we're manifesting, we're always taught by so many different people, hey, ask, ask for this, ask for that. And co-create with this, you know, co-create with your guides. It's great. I love co-creating instead of just asking because it's not like I'm not asking for, you know, extras. I'm asking for everything I'm already working for. And that's what you're doing too. So instead of just saying, hey, could you please give me this cool thing? It's like, no, no, no. I'm going to work with you, the universe, my guides, you know, whomever. <laughs> Who, you know, the entire spiritual team, earth, sky, all the elements. You know, I am working with each and every one of you to make this happen here in the physical. So go forth and keep co-creating with your entire spiritual team, whether you're doing it consciously or not, they're helping you. So every time we vocalize, hey, this is what I want, y'all, help me make this happen. You can ask for that, but do the steps, take action and get creative with it. You know, if if, if you feel inclined to go paint or doodle or work on some leather or crochet or something like that, go for it. Go for it. Because if it feels good and fulfilling to you, it's a step in the right direction. It is. And you don't know where it may lead, but that's part of the excitement. That's part of the journey. So make it an adventure. Make it fun. Make it enjoyable. But keep going for your dreams. You are supported. We are supported. We are loved unconditionally. And the more we claim, it's like, hey, that one's mine. I'm taking it right now. Right. It's in my heart. You know, that goal, that dream, I am plucking that star and putting it right in my heart. And I am going to make this happen for me with all of your help. That is another way that you can talk to your guides and be like, hey, y'all, we're going to we're going to do this really awesome thing. Come on, come with me, collaborate. <laughs> so whatever language feels right for you, go for it. They're here to co-create with us. We're here to co-create with them. Follow your heart. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition and trust that you are fully 100 percent supported because you are. So happy full moon, get creative, have fun, make it an adventure. I love you. I support you. Always remember, you are accepted. You are valid. You are loved. Now, don't be afraid to re-watch re this, re-listen to this anytime you need an infusion of these energies. They are here for all time. These energies transcend time and space. So they're always here for you. <laughs> 